ladies and gentlemen welcome to episode eight of the full complete set of the queen's beast series and welcome to the 2020 your white horse of hanover Greetings, 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 my people, and indeed a very warm, fantastic, majestic, and fantabulous welcome to each and every single one of you to yet again another of my coins showcasing videos. My name is Biwari Kikum Staka NZ, and you guys are highly, highly welcome. Welcome to episode 8 of the White Lion of Hanover, your 2020. Alright. Yes, the Queen's Beast series from the Royal Mint of England is actually down to its final two designs and now features one of the youngest heraldic beasts in the Royal Arms of England. The White Horse of Hanover came to the Royal Arms of England in the year 1714 when the Elector George of Hanover gained the crown of Great Britain and became the first of six monarchs from Hanover to reign in Britain. Yes, in 1714, the royal arms of England underwent a significant change that saw the first addition of foreign lands outside the British House to the seal in more nearly 400 years. Recent iterations had featured the three lions together in quadrants with either the French Fleur de Lys or the Lion of Scotland. On the death of Queen Anne, George, the Elector of Hanover, was named King of Great Britain and Ireland and ruled as King George I. He was the first monarch from the House of Hanover. On the reverse field, the coin bears the Jody Clark's White Horse of Hanover design. A powerful stallion box up on its hind legs behind the shield. This quartered shield reflects the royal arms of England adopted first by King George I. It places three lions and Lion of Scotland in one quadrant, the harp of Ireland in another, the French fleur de lis in another, and the house of Hanover's arms in a final quadrant. Alright, as you guys can, can all see, let me try to zoom in for you guys so that we are all on the same page on here. So the new element that brings in the final quadrant is the white horse, symbolizing the horse of Hanover. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the conclusion of this particular episode 8. And all I can say is a very big thank you to each and every single one of you yet again, once again, for stopping by, dropping by to view another of my coin showcasing videos and without i'll see you guys in episode 9 we are almost there thank you <laughs>